Happy Thursday. Service. We always talk. I always talk about it. It's something I always. I I do my best to keep it, kind of, in front of me. So I'm always looking through that lens of service. How can I be of service? It also helps get me out of self because if I don't have it, you know, kind of in my frontal view right here. Oh, service. Yes, yeah, service. Because I've talked about this several times. I forget. As, as much as anybody, if not more, you know. Uh, but being of service doesn't just extend to everyone else. There's an element of service that is essential when projected from you onto you. How are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating well? Are you being, are you exercising? Are you taking care of your emotional and mental well being? Because we are what we bring to everything. So, yeah, it's amazing if you're helping everybody else, if you are in a service industry. But if you're rotting from the inside out, what are you bringing to the table? And, and this isn't a place, like when I talk about that, it's not a place of like complete selfishness. It needs to be there needs to be a balance and I struggle with that. But I, as I've gotten older in my life, had ex more experiences, I've, I've under, I began, I have begun to understand that I have to take care of me a little bit. And, and it's still a delicate balance because I can get lost in service to others and begin to erode from the inside out emotionally and uh, more for me emotionally, because physically it's essential for me to be active because it's so integral in my shaping my attitude and my image, which like my body image, not my image to the world, but I guess it is my image to the world. I am plenty, you know, I have a, a bit of dysmorphia and, and self-esteem issues and, and all that stuff. So, but, taking care of myself emotionally. It's certainly, there, there's an element of ease to taking care of everybody else. But if I begin to erode and I'm not taking care of myself emotionally, I'm still bringing resent, then I begin to bring resentment and maybe underlying anger to every situation versus a positive, like pulling back on a little bit of service to everybody else and taking care of, you know, the individual specifically looking at my attitude and my attention to uh, my perception, getting grateful, being in this moment, being in these experiences, going for a walk, taking my time, not rushing through, you know, the idea of rushing through the forest and missing the beauty of the trees and the flowers you know, or getting distracted by the one flower or the one tree that I hate. Shifting my attitude, shifting my perception. Then, the, then what I bring to every situation, I am being of service. By being of service to me, I can be of service to the universe, to the world around me, to my fellows, to my family, to my peers to my employer, to my employees, whatever, spouse. But I forget, I forget a lot of, everything I talk about I forget and then I remember and I forget and I remember. Part of, for me, doing these little check-ins helps me remember. I don't know. I love, there's so much I love about life now. And I'm not, that's not what I would have said 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Maybe not even five years ago.
my human experience can taint, can taint, can cloud the actual experience because I'm human and I judge. If I take away that judgment and I just have the experience, good, bad, or indifferent, it's kind of amazing. Much love, big light. Have a great Thursday.